Oh, hey, yeah, it's already recording. So, hello, this is the Good Taste Podcast, but we're going to get a quick cameo from uh, Jared Ramirez. Uh, so, introduce yourself, say what you want to say, tell us how you're feeling, and there you go. Kick it off, man. Go all out, boy. How's it going, man? I mean, how's it going, people? So, there's one thing I need to get off my chest. To a channel that I've been subscribed to not more than... Oh, Havoc's here. Yeah. Yep. Hey, what's I'm up, Trevor? Um, really... Jared's just making a quick cameo. And, you know, so let him have the floor here. Okay. You know, well... There's, this, there's some big channel that has, like... That has, like, over 10,000 subscribers. They wear masks for their videos. And I, and I know for a long time they've been making funny videos after funny videos, and 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 there's something I need to say. What the truth? Bubba Dunk Funkin and Green Cycle Seventeen. The guys, the guys that entertain their subscribers for years, making videos, running on certain stuffs like. PG wrestling and every and any other things that they don't like or it's just a pretend it's all a myth and portrayal and one thing I have to say man they fucking have god awful taste when it comes to women rest, women's wrestling on the roster team ah shit dude <laughs> I haven't been to their channel in forever, so I, I can't say, but, mm. but what else do you have on your mind? You know, what have you been up to? You know, you know what well, you I've been resting, relaxing, trying to relieve my brain. Dude. Bubba, Bubba and Green are not what they used to be, and I don't blame you for not going to their channel for a while. Right, and I can't blame long... them for their con because it's just like, you know, yeah. they've been doing it for years. They're they're kind of getting old. They're, they don't have that youth yeah. anymore, and you know, but YouTube's they just not and they fun li- anymore. You know, yeah, and they. I don't know why, but they they like certain they like certain wrestlers that that are getting the opportunities like right now. Like they're praising Oscar, they're praising Becky Lynch. Uh, hold on, TJ. I let Jared have the four. Yeah, he's having a quick cameo, and then he'll be done. Okay. Huh. All right. Continue, Come on. Man. Come on, Bubba. If you don't like it, then we... I know. I know. I know you don't watch it anymore. But come on. Why do you like these these wrestlers, huh? Why do you like these wrestlers? You, you like Oscar? You like Becky Lynch? But I know, but I before when I heard you change your mind, you called Becky cringy Lynch, and I can see that. Damn, I've been a loyal subscriber to you for for like three years, I think. I started subscribing to the BDS network for like three years, and years they got stale. They first started eight years ago, being funny and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, no offense, Bubba, but come on, get a hold of yourself. Stop praising these these overrated wrestlers that get up after opportunity after opportunity for no reason. You too, Green. I know you've grown out of the product. Stop praising jobbers. I know you don't like all of them, but. I don't know. There's just no one interesting on the roster anymore. That's all I got to say. All right. Anything else you want to say, other than Bubba and Green having bad taste in jobbers, which 
I agree. I'm like, why do you praise these people, man? Like, come on. Thank you. Yo, well, um, I'm on. The, I've been on a road to um to getting something, and um, this, you know, throughout the weekend, um, I'm still having my classes. I'm still having my classes to finish up. Getting my getting my associates, and I don't know how long it'll be for me to last here. It doesn't mean I'm gonna leave this this group. Well, it's it might take a while. Yeah, you, having some time off, that's you. okay. You know, you know, people got you know, lives. So. Being around, I don't know what it's like to be in classes. Well. I, I do want to I do want to conversate with people people that have a good mindset that are smart enough to express themselves. And then there's so many dipshits dipshits in class that that go off topic and and just talk about the same shit over and over again. Like, ah, oh, would you please keep it down? You need to calm down. Yeah. Well, it was what it was. So, um, you know, I met this. I met some youngster. Well, I, I'm not calling him gangster, but I'm I'm calling him a, like a young guy. Yeah. You know this youngster. He's my classmate for one class. One class I'm in college right now. He's so young. Um, you know, for that class, if if they miss more than two days, they're gonna get dropped. And he, he's my new. He's my. Uh, I know he's my. He's my classmate. Um, trying to. I tried helping him. He tried helping me a little bit, and um, we were getting along just well. And He's been ditching class a lot. I think, well, I don't know what to say. I'm no loner. Well, that's Sitting in the back him. of the room. Yeah. Well, from now on, I got to find, I don't want to be a loner. Well, I got to find a, a seat that is, you know, well, it is what it is. So I know they're, even though they're dipshits, I do want to conversate with certain people at the same time. Yeah. Just be myself. I understand that. Be yourself. Conversate. Yeah. I don't want to complain. Like I don't want to complain like a little bitch. No. Yeah. Fuck that. All right. Anything else you feel well, like you need to bring up, or are you just gonna call? It you know, well, before I before I finish, um, yeah, that my my classmate from this one class, it's not math, it's another class that you may not you might have not heard of if you did if you went to college or not. Well, um, I'm not gonna mention it because it's 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 everything that that develops careers. Well, um, if he comes back. This coming weekend, when I go to that class, I'm just gonna say like in my head, but not, but not for real. Like through him now, I'm not gonna sit next to you anymore. Fuck you. All right, you've been ditching me. You left me all alone. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it with my mouth open, like louding out my mouth. Man, you know how I feel when I start sitting when I um every time I I go to reg my registered classes and I I meet like new people. They could be nice. They could be cruel sometimes. Um, yeah, there we go. Man, damn it. Continue. You know, well, as much as I want to meet new people that are close to my age or older and even younger sometimes at least two years apart
I do so much to meet to meet up with certain classmates that came from different schools, a different demographic. Demographic, yeah, that's how that's how it's pronounced. Um, it's like everyone everybody wants to to appreciate things that certain individuals will get used to. Not just leaving their classmates and ditching class, like turning their backs or something. Fuck that. If he did, if he, if this kid or, or whatever how old he is now, ditches again, then I'm gonna sit somewhere else, full of a few people that could be as creative as me. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be if they're if they're good people or dipshits. I gotta do what I must do. Yeah, do what you have to do. Thanks. Alright, is that gonna be it for you, man? Yes, thank you. Alright, you can go now, if you need to. You, All right. you have a great... You, you enjoy yourself, man. And Thank you. Maybe we will see each other again some other time, but... Right now, you're done for now. All right, enjoy yourself. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out and enjoy your make your episode. All right, good cameo from you, man. Thanks. Hey guys, what's up? Perfect Welch and have it Kingslayer nine twenty one. And we're doing yes, we're doing stuff again. Uh, no Killer J, he's busy with life, it seems. And apparently, Quacky the Quacker's not here. Yeah, he was for a bit, but, you know. I guess he just got zoned out, so. And, uh, Draven's not here. Yeah. Most of them aren't here. It's just kind of me and him for now, but, you know. Yeah. So, Trevor, what do you want to talk about? How Nostalgia Critic has fallen off so badly. Yeah. Uh, it, <laughs> it all started with the whole channel awesome drama. You know, the change the channel thing. Yeah. But, like, even before then, this content was pretty not good. Like, after 2012, it just started to take a deep dive. Yeah. I mean... He, he probably just needs to retire. It, it's very obvious that a uh, Channel Awesome has him at, like, a stranglehold. Yeah. <laughs> and Craig just needs to, and Doug needs to get his rights back, too. Yeah. And if you can't, you know, just close the curtains, you know? Yeah. Cause if Channel re- Awesome will allow it, of course. They're probably not. But, you know, <laughs> all good things must come to an end, you know? But we can always look back on the good times and enjoy them, you know? If only he took in the steps that AVGN did. Yeah. I agree, you know? Remember Demo Reel? <laughs> I I kind of forgot about Demo Reel, actually. Basically, all he did was just reenact uh, his, like, movies, but, like, with his own cast and stuff. Basically, like, you know how, like, in his newer reviews, he'll have, like, uh, quote-unquote oh, yeah, yeah. copyright footage? Yeah. Yeah, I remember That's basically, that yeah, he, he's secretly trying to bring back Demo Reel through his own reviews. Yeah, I could kind of tell with that. <laughs> yeah, because a... Critic was so high on that that he thought this was going to get Hollywood to notice him. Hollywood senpai. <laughs> <laughs> notice me, Hollywood senpai! <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. I mean, AVGN, yeah, it was like, AVGN. No, AVGN, I mean, like, he'll have, like, a bad episode here and there, but it's not as often. Yeah. I mean, and, you know, when you're doing something for over ten years, you're bound to make a doo-doo, you know? Yeah. I mean, everything's gonna have its up and downs, you know? Yeah. I really liked his uh, Pepsi Man review. Oh, that and the was fact, fun. <laughs> the fact that he actually got the guy from the commercials to, like, the commercial video game of cameos, whatever. Yeah. That he actually got the guy was crazy. Like, it's crazy how he can contact all these people. Yeah, like how he got Kevin McAllister in an AVG episode. He got Macaulay Culkin. That that was great. <laughs> he got Gilbert Godfrey and people hated that episode. Oh, or the one where he was Fred Fox. Yeah. <laughs> His roast on about like uh, how he's not educated while uh, AVG talks about buffalo feces and lives in his basement. That was like the hardest roast. <laughs> like it was so hard, AVG couldn't even help but to laugh. He's like, "Dang, he really got me." Yeah. Man, you can't even come back from that. <laughs> yeah, that and James, you know, he uploads, you know, like, he, like, Doug doesn't try to upload every week with Nostal. Well, he does, but he James, does, he yeah. doesn't try to upload every week. You know, he uploads whenever he, he feels like. He it out. And he actually takes time with his video. He takes his sweet time. And that's what uh, the critic is missing. Yeah. <clears throat> if only he took notes from, uh, James. Even, like, outside of this whole, like, uh, how bad, like, his videos have fallen off and all that, I've always preferred AVGN Critic. Yeah, me too. You know, he's, AVGN's just so fun to watch. And that he's not always streaming too. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, like, it's not annoying every time, but it's just like, there's just times where it kind of does. Mainly in the newer episodes, it feels fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you feel about, uh, SmackDown going on to Fox? Huh, SmackDown going on to Fox? This Friday, and they're gonna have their, uh, big main event on the show, B versus Kofi title. Mm, I don't think, yeah, still not gonna, yeah, WWE's <laughs> gonna have to make more drastic changes, but, but I'm... I'll give it a watch just to see what they'll do. That's about it. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe that will actually be the changing point, but I, mean, like, I doubt Fox it. Fox does want them to actually make a change. Yeah. Fox is like, if you all motherfuckers don't change, you're all getting... Fuck you. Because I want to I actually... heard, like, rumors about, like, how, like, uh, if... <clears throat> if SmackDown goes on to Fox and that, if they don't, like, get any, like, decent ratings and stuff, they're gonna get cancelled or something like that good because that doesn't tell Vince like hey get your ass thinking then I don't know what will yeah like it's just so painful watching how he's just letting his company die right before his eyes yeah your fucking company and your own company you're just sitting there because you know that you have no competition out there. there's no one between challenge you like yeah i'll just go ahead and like uh do nothing you know and now we got AEW kind of slowly but surely rising i'm definitely gonna be starting watching uh tuesday night dynamite when it comes out yeah i should probably catch up on you know the pay-per-views when i still can you know mm -hmm. like 
catch up on the pay-per-views and watch Tuesday Night Dynamite. Yeah. And, you know, if we get Fox making WWE have to take themselves seriously, and we get, you know, AEW being cool, though I don't think they should be focusing on a video game right now until, like, maybe a few years later, you know? When they have a fully established roster by then. Yeah. But, you know, I actually, like, I don't know about you, but I want wrestling to be taken seriously again. I mean, like, I feel like wrestling is trying to, like, get to its relevance and stuff, but it's, like, it's struggling still. Yeah. I mean, like, AEW has been doing uh, decently... Yeah, they're getting, they're garnering attention, you know. It's so weird, like, how it, they're actually getting, like, attention, and it's like, like, how is this happening? I don't know, I think people just got real fucking tired of WWE, and then when they heard new wrestling company, it's like, fuck yes, this is new potential, you know? You know? Yeah, it's, it's like, because TNA tried to be the new generation WCW, but it just, and they had a good run for a few years, but in the end, it just didn't pan out. Yeah. TNA tried, and they just couldn't do much. Yeah. I mean, they, they had some good pay-per-views, but then uh, that whole, you know, uh, Jeff Hardy versus Sting, that happened. Yeah, uh, that was wasn't the only problem. Match. But like were... Hogan and Bischoff just did not need to be there. Yeah, they. Like, uh, I respect what they have done before, but like they've done some great stuff. It's just that like we're in the 2010s. Like this was like 2010. It was a new generation. Or 2011. It was like one of the years. Yeah, Hogan and Bischoff. Hi, my kind of pass. So it was like, yeah. Plus, people just in general saw so TNA as like the retirement home. Yeah, it's like the wrestling retirement home. Like, for the people who don't want to like retire, retire, but just want to like go somewhere to wrestle. Yeah, it's like. I understand having a few legends like Kurt Angle and Sting, you know, <laughs> and Mick Foley, guys who can still wrestle, but guys like Hogan and Flair, it's like, they had a good run back in the day, and that time's up for them, sadly. <laughs> and honestly, Flair had a good retirement match, or... Though, you know, I guess he did need the money, because Flair and, you know. I'm just like, I, I just can't get over the fact that he literally wrestled a match in TNA, like, after he had his match with Michaels. Yeah. Like, that is one thing I'll respect about Austin and... Michaels, even though Michaels had like... Oh god, Michaels. Let's not even talk about those Saudi Arabia matches. Yeah, but uh, excluding that, you know, they kept their word. That I can actually respect about them. Triple H doesn't even attempt to stick to his word. Mm. It's like, when will you retire? Because, like, honestly, like, at this point, Triple H can't get a good match anymore. Like, the, he had his, I mean, sure, that like, the mixed tag match at WrestleMania was cool and all that, but, like, when you can get a tag match only and you're not, like, a tag team specialist or anything, when that's the only way you can get a good match, what's that to say? Yeah, and honestly, everyone else is gone, you know. Rock's not doing things on WWE anymore. Undertaker's not doing things on WWE anymore. Big Show's done. Well, before. he did. Well, Taker did have a segment recently oh. where he chokeslammed Sami Zayn after, like, because Sami like interrupted <laughs> him. 
And I think, like, Taker was doing this, like, thing about, like, he was teasing, like, oh, am I going to stay or am I going to leave? Oh, am I going to pass the torch? Like, he was doing that. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rock's gone, Taker's gone, kind of, uh, you know. It's like, even John Cena doesn't do as much as he used to. He's barely there. I, I can't even remember. Like, the, the, I think, like, the last time he was there was, like, that um, mixed tag match with Becky Lynch. Yeah. I mean, I, like... I, 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 I like John Cena, but, like, I'm just, like, really salty that, like, he spent all these years saying, like, Oh, I'll never leave you guys behind. Man. I'm always here every day. And then he leaves for Hollywood, like, the hypocrite that he is. Like... Even if you're a Cena fan, you, I don't want to hear anybody making excuses. John Cena is a hypocrite. It's one thing if he were to be there every week and talk about how he loves the fans and everything and goes, like, without, like, calling out other people doing it. But, like, when you call out people for doing something like that that you're doing, it, it's a... Yeah, it's like, Brock Lesnar doesn't come every day. It'd be like if it's like it'd, it'd make Roman look bigger. And of course, like, John Cena never responded to it because he knew that that's the only thing back to. But the only problem is that that was all Roman could really get at. Everything else was just the same old tired shtick. That people like The Miz and CM Punk went after. Yeah. It's like, and he bragged about charity, which not something you really brag about. And even CM Punk, he said that he did make a wish, but nobody was giving him like, oh, you're so great, you know. Because WWE never publicized it. Plus, John Cena never bragged about charity. He, I mean, he showed that he would do charity and stuff, but it's like, that was like the WWE's part. That's oh, yeah, the thing. Well, yeah. But, you know, yeah, so like the people who say thing, thing, yeah, definitely. I don't, I, mean, I always question, like, why did people always try to take the whole Make-A-Wish thing and try to spin it as a negative? Like, I just know. I mean, it's like, showing it once every blue moon. You know, like they I mean, with sure, the Foley. WWE's portrayal of it, it, it's like they do it too much, but it's like, again, the history that WWE has been through with murderous wrestlers who were their world champions, of course, they do stuff. They don't want the image. That's how the world works. Yeah. Also, you're cutting off a little bit. I am? Yeah, just you might need to leave and come back. Like, just all right, that. I'll try that quick. Better? Yeah, a lot better actually. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so did you hear at all about like when I was saying that I never got why people spin the charity yeah. thing in a negative? All yeah. right, good. I, I I understand what you're saying. Yeah, like I get how WWE, like how they push it a lot is an issue, but it's like trying to point at Cena, I just feel like it's just th step in the wrong direction. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> hmm. So well, did you hear that about, like, uh, CM Punk saying that he has no, uh, beef with WWE and that if they call him up, he'll, uh, talk to them? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <sighs> the only question is, will WWE capitalize it, or will they just ignore it? That's on WWE. I will definitely be all ears if I hear anything about, uh, Punk coming back. I, I definitely would be interested. It would, it would definitely make the company worth watching. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Like, I, it, it, even if CM Punk just has, like, one segment or one match every week, I'd watch. Just for him. Heck, if they just made Punk part-time, like, Lesnar, and made him exclusive to the Big Four pay-per-views. But that would make Punk look like a hypocrite, though, in all honesty. 
Well, yeah. But, you know, again, it's kind of, he kind of is leaving it to the WWE, but, you know, if he just can't, but still, you know. Now, I don't know if Punk would be capable of full-time. I mean, like, it's all his decision and everything, you know. But I would definitely be down for him to return, even if he does part-time. But even though I'm going to, in the back of my head, realize this dude is a hypocrite. Yeah, everyone's a hypocrite these days. Especially yeah. in wrestling, like, everybody. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> Just like how uh, Ultimate Warrior used to be happy about uh, Heath Ledger's death because he was a drug user, even though Warrior did steroids back in the day. But okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> Yeah, I I just can't really I can't I just can't like comprehend that Warrior at one point in his life was this cruel. Like I know that like people said that he changed in his like final years, but it's like Jesus, did you have to be that obnoxious? Like you know, it, people can change. Yeah, of it's course. like you know when you but look it, back you at can... their obnoxious years, it's like. Man, were they really that much of an asshole? And it's hard not to criticize it, because it's like, it's so wrong, and it's like... It's like... It's steps like that where it's like, wow. But it's nothing that I would hold it against them, especially that, like, Warrior is, like, uh, dead, and he never did anything extreme. Like, yeah. kill people. Yeah. Like, Chris Benoit. Yeah. Crispin Hitler. <laughs> oh boy. But, yeah. It's just cr I mean, I don't think you can come back from killing people, but. <laughs> you know. The ultimate, yeah. Wrestling is just. Full of hypocrites and shit. Yeah, almost all of them are. Yeah. The fans being probably the biggest. Yeah, probably. So, uh, Trevor, what game? Are, what games are you looking forward to? Um, not that I know of right now. Like, I'll say I'm not looking forward to Death Stranding or The Last of Us 2. I, I'm not interested in those at all. Uh, Dragon Ball Z look Kakarot up. looks like it could be interesting. and they're actually, Oh yeah, I've heard about that uh, game. Yeah, and they're actually gonna do, put in some new off-stories that were like off-screen that would happen like... I still wish I... I still need to get my... get a copy of uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah. It... it, it it's great, you know. It's a game where uh, Beerus is D tier and Yamcha is A tier, perfectly balanced. <laughs> as all yeah, the, should be. they have balance. Um, uh, do you hear about a uh, Disney Plus? Yeah, I heard about it. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, anticipating for that. I'm hoping that I can get it when it uh, comes out on the twelfth. Hey, how can you go wrong with a streaming platform that's only like seven bucks a month? You can watch all their Disney classic animated films, Star Wars movies, even National Geographic if you're into that, and uh, the Marvel movies. And the Pixar movies also, of course, like Toy Story and whatnot, so I'm definitely keeping my eye out for that. Yeah. Y'all know Corey will definitely get it just to watch all the Marvel movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, it's like, you know, and, yeah, I saw that Corey deleted his channel for good, you know. Yeah, at this point, like, he should just retire, because it's like... Yeah, he doesn't... There's no he's point, it's like... old. He doesn't have as much passion as he His stick is to. pretty much, like, gone out, and it's like... 
how long can this go till he'll keep constantly getting it taken down? It's clear that he's unmotivated to do it anyway. So it's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, he just needs to chillax himself, you know? He put over the yeah. new future of good taste, Draven Crow, Red Wolf, you know, Killer J, uh, Darkrai Master, King Bischoff, uh, Bad Taste Killer, those guys, they're definitely the future. Going back on the video games real quickly, I'm definitely keeping my eye out for the uh, Fallen Order game just to see if it's anything worth it, you know? Unless EA screws up with it. Wait, is EA making the game? I don't know. But if it's EA making it, uh, I will do anything other than play an EA game. <laughs> what if um, LJN makes it? I would rather play an LJN game than an EA game. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, like, at least, like, LJN made that Maximum Carnage game, so... We, yeah, and they made a few decent game. wrestling titles, actually. They were challenging and confusing at times, but uh, <laughs> I bet it's, it would be infinitely better than, like, if EA made the freaking uh, WWE games. Ugh. EA also yeah. made Shaq Fu. <laughs> Wait, they did? Yeah, they made the original Shaq Fu. Let me look at myself. Uh, let's see. Oh my... <laughs> You're not kidding! It's THQ! <laughs> Oh my god, you're not kidding. <laughs> they actually made a sequel, too. <laughs> oh, Legend Born. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaq Fu has a sequel. J just think about that. Like, at that point, anything can have a sequel at this point. Superman 64 2. <laughs> E.T. 2 <laughs> Cheetah Man 2 Cheetah Man 3 Cheetah Man 4 Cheetah Man 3 and Knuckles <laughs> Sonic 06 2 Sonic 06 06 <laughs> um, What are they? Uh Custer's Revenge 2, Return of Custer. <laughs> Nickelback the game. <laughs> made by yeah, EA. They, they make like a, one of those like uh, guitar hero, hero games, but it's all Nickelback songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how they made an all Beatles like a uh, guitar hero game, but it's Nickelback this time. <laughs> Yeah, or it's Michael Jackson's <laughs> Moonwalker, but you play as Chad. <laughs> and all honesty, that game is actually pretty decent. Like, yeah, it's, it's nothing actually... great. It's better than the movie. Yeah, actually. It's like the movie was made for the game. It was just an excuse, and it's like, it's weird, because it's like, of all like the movie video game tie-ins you expect to suck, Moonwalker, oddly, isn't one of them. Yeah, it's like... The bad movie gets a good game. A decent one at that. Yeah. It's like, it's crazy. Then, like, King Kong also got a really good video game. Even, like, the people who don't like the movie will agree that the video game is actually pretty good. Yeah. I mean, the video game is the reason why I even know the movie. I saw the movie first and then played the game. I was rewatching it like some like uh weeks ago and it's it's still pretty good. I mean like there I mean like it's a Peter Jackson movie so there's going to probably be spots you would argue that it's like stretched out too long but it's like it's still like worth watching I'd say. Yeah, it, I mean it's a silly fun movie to watch. I wouldn't consider it a silly movie. I'd say it's just a really long Now, a silly one would be, like, the original 30s or 1920s uh, movie. 
Mm. Where they have like a like a clay animated like a gorilla, if I remember. Anything else? Um, I don't know what else. Mm. Well, then, I think we'll just end it off here. Alrighty. Sucks that Killer J didn't make it, but yeah, at least the two of us did. All right, you have a good one, Trevor. Oh, I can stay stay on a long time there. Oh, it's recording. All right, it's recording on your end. Oh, well, I was actually recording it so I could end it for you. But if you want to do one and then well, we're gonna do a double double recording. Oh, I'm in, guys. This is hilarious, uh, Jared. Uh, I'm doing a cameo for Killer J real fast, but uh. Oh, I didn't want to interrupt. I didn't want to interrupt Don't for a worry, second. Don't worry, fine. It's fine, man. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're we're just gonna do the best podcast we possibly can. A good one. But yeah. Uh. So this is perfect. Welch and. Uh, Killer J Eggplant Wizard here. Yeah. Uh, I like Jerry Ramirez. Here for a few for a few more for a few minutes. Yeah. And I was like, so, what, what do you have to say, Killer J? Like, about what? Like, anything? Uh, yeah, anything. Well, I'll say things need to get better taste. That's what, what it needs to be said. You need to have better taste, my people. Yeah. I think Brock Lesnar beat Kofi Cockwagon for, for the belt there, so. Yeah. Uh, like besides that. Uh, can't wait to get to that new videos of yours whenever I have the chance. Oh yeah, the retro for a retro special there. Oh, that was that was funny there. All right, Any, anything else you need to say for the cameo? What is it? Just gonna be a short edition or what? Oh no, it's just a can. I was just filming a cameo for the last Good Taste podcast that I filmed with Trevor and Jared and all of them. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was looking forward to like Mortal Kombat. Uh, waiting for Old Man Arnold, the Terminator. Hopefully, you can play as him anytime soon. Yeah, it looks pretty fun. Uh, I got the I got the Chronicles. Uh, got Shinnok's amulet and Chronicles amulet today. There. Uh, got all the amulets for the crypta, so I unlocked those. Good job. Yeah. Still more and more stuff after the lock. It's going to take a while. This is MK11 there. Yeah, it's going to take some time. But, you know, have fun with it, man. I'll try. Or would be like Fort Snake when he reviews MK11. This crypt is a freaking convoluted mess. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. Uh, anything else, man? Uh, Play games, not companies. Yeah. Alright. Peace out. For the... Peace.